Hi, my name is Mary McCarley, and I am the National Content Specialist with Goodhart Wilcox. I was a teacher for 15 years in Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools, and I now provide professional development and training for our health and CTE titles. So many teachers and district coordinators have reached out to us in need of CTE digital resources, including this title, Principles of Management, and we've been more than happy to provide these resources given the challenges we know you all are facing. I wanted to create this video on Principles of Management to extend this offer to all teachers in all school districts in need of digital resources for their high school course. In this presentation, I will provide one, an immediate solution. If you're in need of resources right now, I will provide you 10 assessments as a PDF that you can begin assigning to your students today. And two, I will provide you a long-term solution for those teachers and school districts who may, who may remain out of school for the remainder of the school year. We can set up online access to all of our digital resources for students and teachers. And number three, I will provide the steps to access these resources. So first, for an immediate solution, we know that many of you are in need of resources right now. We will provide 10 assessments that you can print, email, or post to Google Classroom or your learning management system for students to access. I'll highlight some of these 10 assessments. And this case study was from the pages of our book, but we created it as a PDF for you. And every case study includes critical thinking questions. And here are two more case studies on interpersonal skills and leadership. And in addition to our case studies, we've included workbook pages. We were intentional about making sure that students would not need the textbook to complete the pages we included for you. And here are two workbook pages on percentages and constructive criticism. And another on calculating commission. Leadership self-evaluation. Internal control. And lastly, import scavenger hunt. So now, for a long-term solution, we know that many of you may be out of school until the end of the school year, and we're happy to provide you full access to our digital resources for students and teachers for the remainder of the school year. Principles of Management presents a comprehensive framework to learn about the functions of management as well as develop leadership school skills. And this textbook will prepare students to earn a certificate in business management. And I'll provide you an overview of the resources available with principles of management and show you how to navigate the online platform. So first, let's dive into the textbook. You'll see that every unit opens with a case study and critical thinking questions. Every chapter opens with a reading prep activity and an exploring careers feature. And every lesson includes learning objectives, key terms, and at the end of every lesson, they are check your understanding and build your vocabulary. Anytime you see this activity icon, that would indicate to students that by clicking on it in our online platform, they would go directly to an interactive vocabulary activity. And within the pages of the lessons, there are different, there are a variety of features to pique the interest of students. And these include you do the math, employability skills, ethics, and exploring careers. And at the end of every chapter, there are a variety of activities to engage students to review the lesson content and practice those important skills. And these include communication skills, internet research, teamwork, review your knowledge, apply your knowledge, portfolio development, and CTSOs. So before we look at the companion website, I wanted to show you the online platform. So this is our online platform and it includes the student textbook, the companion website, the student workbook, and the online instructor resources. And I'll review each of these resources. But first, since I just gave you an overview of the textbook, let's look at the textbook. So by clicking on the link, it will take you to our textbook. 
and it is divided by unit and by chapter. So let's click on a chapter. And on the left-hand side, you'll see this navigation bar. The plus allows you to zoom in, minus, zoom out. The third button down allows you to go to another unit or chapter, click again to close. The fourth button down allows you to go directly to the companion website, click again to close. And lastly, students and teachers can print pages of the text as well. You'll see the arrows on the left and the right allowing the student to go to the next page of the book. We are on page 21. If students want to jump to another page of the book, they can jump to another page of the book. They can also search our book by a key term and click. So that was an overview of our textbook. And before I click on the companion website or these icons, I wanted to give you a brief overview of the companion website. So the companion website allows students to review and assess their knowledge. And here are just some of the activities you'll see on the companion website. There are matching activities, vocabulary games set up very similar to Jeopardy, and e-flashcards, and at the end of lessons, the lesson review questions as well. Also, there is a student workbook which will reinforce and extend new concepts. And lastly, there are online instructor resources, and these are resources available to help you plan and facilitate your course. And this includes the textbook answer keys, the student workbook answer keys, lesson plans, and PowerPoint. So now I'll review those resources on our online platform. So anytime you want to go back to the main page, you're going to click the My Bookshelf tab. And I'll scroll down to the companion website. So there's several different ways to get into the companion website. Don't forget, you can actually get into the companion website from the pages of the book by clicking on the icon or by the navigation bar on the left-hand side. Or you can access the companion website from here. And this will show you the full companion website for all the chapters of the book. So we'll look at chapter one. There are e-flashcards. By clicking on it, I'll see the definition. I can remove it if I know that one or go to the next. And rather than seeing the term first, I can change it and see the definition first. And in addition to e-flashcards, there are also matching activities. So whether I get it right or wrong, the program is going to prompt me to keep trying. So it wasn't intended to be an assessment, but rather for students to just practice. If you wanted to count this as assessment, just ask students to right-click in the space off to the side, and they can save it as a PDF, or they can click the print option, and by clicking the print option, it does allow them to either print it or they can change the destination away from the printer and they can save it as a PDF. If they are logged into the Google Drive, it will give them the option to save to Google Drive and from there they can submit to Google Classroom. And all of our assessments, including our workbook pages, can be saved in that way. There's also a vocabulary game every chapter has, and this is gonna be set up very similar to Jeopardy. And whether you get it right or wrong, it will tell you the correct answer. And lastly, at the end of every chapter, you'll see that there are those text-dependent questions that students can complete digitally and submit digitally as well. So this was an overview of our companion website. So next, Let's look at our student workbook. I'm gonna scroll down and you'll see that it's divided by unit and by chapter. So let's click on a chapter. And you'll see the familiar navigation bar come up. I can zoom in, zoom out, go to another unit or chapter, click again to close. I do wanna point out before I click on the fourth button down that you can print pages of the book as well. 
but the fourth button down is going to allow me to see it with form fields so that students can type directly into the boxes and submit digitally. And by clicking on any chapter, you'll see that it will pop up with form fields. So now I can type directly into the form field. And upon completion, I'm going to right click in the space off to the side. I can save it as a PDF, or once again, you can click the print option to print it, or save to Google Drive, or save it as a PDF. And once again, I'll click the My Bookshelf tab to go back. And lastly, I want to point out the online instructor resources. So this is available to teachers to help them plan and facilitate their course. By clicking on the resource material, you'll see that there are information on best practices, several different rubrics to help you, and also handouts as well. I'm going to click the minus to minimize. Next, the chapter resources. By clicking on a chapter, we'll click on chapter six, you'll see the resources available to you. And this includes the textbook answer keys, workbook answer keys, lesson plan, and these are available as a Word document, so you can edit them, and then also your presentations. The one that states for PowerPoint is the one that you can edit. So you can add slides, delete slides, change text or pictures, and save it as your own. And by clicking on another chapter, you'll see that the format is the same. And I will minimize that. And lastly, we have our assessment software and question pool. So you'll have the opportunity to create exams for students. And these will include multiple choice, true, false, completion, short answer, and essay. So you can customize these tests to meet the needs of your students, and it will generate an answer key as well. If you have a Windows computer, you will need this software. If you have a Macintosh, you'll need this software. If you're integrating with a learning management system, you will need these files as well. So I hope that I've provided a great overview of the resources available with the principles of management. So now, how to access these resources. To get access to, to these resources, email me at mmccarley at g-w.com. Make sure to let me know if you want the immediate resources and or the online access. And to learn more about principles of management, visit our website. I truly appreciate your time. We are here to support you during these challenging times. Have a wonderful day and stay healthy.